There we go. So it's this one today. The U.S. United Artists. Mono. I got two of these. No, I got one of these here. But first, before I start, is that apparently some people don't understand that I'm just showing my collection. I'm not saying my collection is better than yours. I've seen YouTubers out there have a lot better collection than mine. And, you know, I appreciate them showing it. And sometimes I wish more people would do it, you know. So, that's all I'm doing. I'm not saying mine is better. So, take the plastic off without plastic. Of course, it looks better without it, but that's the thick plastic that, you know, really protects really well. So, you guys all know the black label here from them. Am I the original owner? No. Unfortunately, I was asleep at the wheel at that age. <laughs> there was no internet. <laughs> I don't even think there was a rock and there was uh, those uh, 16 magazines, but I never, I never owned a subscription or anybody in my family, by the way. Anyway, so the next one I got is the stereo. United Artists. Same cover, except for the stereo. See, it's different. I'll bring, I'll bring it back out. I'll, I'll work here. See the difference? If I could hold it. There we go. Did it. So that's the difference. Original 64. Well, this is 64 also, but this one came out first, then the stereo one. So, obviously, a big difference. This one, you get more of the picture. If I could hold it side to side, you'll see that's bigger. See how it's bigger? Get the idea? Yeah, I know. You get it. You own it. <laughs> Good. That's what I say. Good. I'm glad you own it. I hope somebody does. Some people don't like the album because it has a soundtrack, music on there, but it's part of the movie. Think about it. It's just part of the movie. Capitol Records probably kicked themselves in the butt when they didn't uh, <laughs> be the ones that made the deal to, to do it. So it's still on the black label. And that's actually why I'm showing you these. Well, it's part of my collection too, though. So. So we have the stereo and the mono. And this one, what's it say here? Okay, this is the 1968 pink and orange label. Here we go. Here we go. So if you want every one of them, these are the ones you the other ones you need to be to get. I didn't even know they had them for a, like a long time that there was different ones out there with uh, United Artists changing the label. I never knew that. Took me a New York minute. <laughs> there you go. That's what that looks like. In case you guys haven't seen it. 
I'm pretty sure most of you have. You can find them quite easily, actually. They're out there somewhere in this crazy world we live in. So the next one is 1971 tan label. There you go. And this one here is a lot darker too. The red, for some reason, they printed it very, very dark. Oh, and it says, without the Beatles on the label. Huh. See, I haven't looked at these in a long time either. <laughs> I just have them in the collection, you know. They just sit there. Doing what they do best. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't say it on here either. Well, that's what it looks like. And I haven't played any of these a long time, so please don't ask me how's the sound difference. I have no idea. I would say it's okay because they released it and there it is, if you know what I mean. A few more. This one's a, a yellow sunrise label, 1977. I think they did that till 79, I want to say. I'm not sure. They're really different. I do not, none of them have the original inner sleeves, which is too bad. That's what that looks like. It's a better view. And the course side too looks the same. It looks pretty cool though, label though. You can see the beetles are right there. I can hold this right. The beetles name is right there. See it? I don't know if you can. It's way off to the side there. And we have one from 1969, 1979, sorry. Capital purple label with the inner sleeve, mastered by Wally. There you go. This is a pretty clean copy considering. It's a little faded right here along the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Oh well. So this one does have the original inner sleeve. Da 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 da. Same on the back. There you go. And it's also without the Beatles uh, name on the label. Weird, right?
Whenever I'm at yard sales or anything, and I see a capital record label, no matter who it is, I don't care. I'm a, I look at it and I look for these then. So if you can pay a dollar for that, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna just take the record to a Goodwill or whatever, you know, store. Okay. Okay, here's my sealed copy. I have a sealed copy here, it says. So it says the purple ones here came out from 79 to 1988. So this one's sealed. So there's really nothing to see. I forgot to point out the bottom here. It has capital right here. Okay, that's it for those. CD time. <laughs> Just look at this one. <laughs> so this is a cool one, because it has like the original label. You gotta admit, that's cool. Come on, guys. Then like the EP on the ins inside. There you go. Then the back, regular track tracking. And then, you know, these ones always come with bonus tracks, but there you go, that's what it looks like. I admit that's a good idea, putting these together, these albums. Or you don't have to admit it, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, should say a lot more lighter up here. I live in Southern California, so it's uh, smoke everywhere. Real bad yesterday. The sun was actually uh, like an orange. So this looks like uh, this is a bootleg. All of these are bootlegs here, except for one. This one has 24 tracks, because it has the stereo and then the mono. So. Then I made this one years ago, off a of DVD. Hard Day's Night Movie Soundtrack. And uh, 16 tracks. So I did the way they came out on the movie. That's how I did it. And the medley is when the little concert they do. So that's what that is. So. Then the last one is this one from the... 50 year anniversary of this thing right here. If I'm right, it's the black label. I've seen these things for sale separately also. They want to make that uh, dollar off what they bought, I guess. Not sure the reason why they want to break up the set. Not really into that myself. Then like an inner sleeve. I think when I see a United Artists uh, album at a yard sale, I'm gonna look for this uh, insert. Probably won't be able to remember it though. There we go. Last one, last thing. Yeah, I'm kind of an extreme collector, I guess. Most people don't collect CDs like me. There's a guy in uh, Australia who collects CDs. He doesn't care what it is. 
And if he doesn't like it, he buys it. He doesn't spend a lot of money, though. I mean, if it's a lot of money and he doesn't have it, he doesn't buy it. And he has bought stuff because he buys pretty much by bulk. Like, I think if he goes to a place and they have them, I think he goes through them and he just makes a pile and goes, okay, I'll buy all these. It's just my guess, but you know, he's got a cool collection. You know, it's huge. Okay, thanks everybody for stopping by. Oh yeah, and thanks for over a thousand hits on the last uh, video I did. And uh, I got like 15 new subscribers. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll be making another one sooner or later. Depending on uh, what, what the heck's going on. Okay. Bye. Thanks.